Lead is a naturally occurring metal. It's bluish gray in color, but you typically can't see it with the naked eye. Lead can cause health problems for anyone, but most concerning are pregnant women and children under the age of six years. And this is because it's a critical time of brain development. Ingestion of lead over time can lead to delays in brain development, and that can have impacts on things like concentration, the ability to learn reading skills and math skills. More serious effects of lead, such as lead poisoning, happen with very large amounts of lead that's ingested. These are uncommon nowadays because lead has been removed from most products. Typically, only people exposed to their workplace are at risk of lead poisoning. There are a number of sources of lead that may be present in your older home, but the two most important are in tap water and from lead-based paints on the walls. Homes with interior or exterior paint from before the 1960s contain lead. Chips of paint or dust from walls can be ingested. Children running along the ground or crawling along the floor are at greatest risk. Old water pipes for service lines and interior plumbing in homes built before the 1960s contain lead. Hi, I'm Jennifer and I work at the City of Hamilton's Public Health Services as an environmental health promoter. So we're here today just to talk a little bit about how you can reduce your lead exposure in your home. So if you live in an older home that was built before the 1960s and you're unsure if the water pipe coming into your home is made of lead, you can call the City of Hamilton's Public Works Department at 905-546-4426. And when you call, you can request a check, size, and type inspection. If they do discover that the pipes are made of lead, the best way to reduce your lead exposure is to replace the pipe. But that's not always possible. So if it isn't possible, we do have some other ideas that can help to reduce your lead exposure. So if you have children that are six years of age or younger uh, living in your home, or pregnant women, or someone who is planning a pregnancy, it's really important that they use cold tap water that has been filtered for any drinking or cooking uses. Um, one type of filter that is very effective is called an NSF 53 Health Effects and it will say that on the label or on the sticker. Another way to reduce lead in the water is that if the water has been sitting for six hours, so for instance overnight, one thing you can do is to reduce the lead is to run your tap for at least five minutes just to flush it out. So lead paint can produce a dust that will fall on the floor and that dust will contain lead. So it's really important to mop regularly or wipe down your floors with a wet cloth. So during any home renovations, it's important to keep children away, seal off the area, have good ventilation, and to wear masks and gloves to reduce your exposure. It's also important that kids wash their hands regularly. If you're worried about your exposure to lead, you can talk to your doctor, or you can call us at Public Health Services at 905-546-3500, or visit our website at www.hamilton.ca for more information. So remember, run your cold water, use a filter for the water, mop and clean the floors regularly, and wash your hands. Thanks very much for listening.